Welcome to Management Decision Tools. In this session, we'll talk about um, brief ideas about what Management Decision Tool means in terms of making decisions and what is modeling. And what does modeling do? How does it help us in deciding uh, things and uh, in, a, in a way that is uh, helpful, optimal to us? Right. So uh, this is just an introductory session. We'll sort of understand the concept behind why we want to uh, use scientific method, mathematical models to think about things. Yeah. Because in many times when we have a problem, uh, a business owner having a problem, it may be that the cost is too high, that the profit is too low, that the revenue is growing too slowly and you know various reasons like that. And uh, whether it is a small time business where the owner is, you know, the owner of the problems as well, and he and only he alone can solve the problem. Or it is a big multinational company with many moving parts. And uh, at any point in time, uh, even the management at the top may not understand fully what's going on on the ground. So in that sense, there are challenges, whether you are large or small business or company. And so making decisions means uh, understanding what are the pros and cons, benefits, risks, and uh, all the moving parts, right? In order to arrive at an optimal uh, choice, right? So when we make a decision, it's often involving selecting a choice. When we select a choice, needless to say, we always want to select the best. There is no such thing as pick one out, of, one out of the five and please pick the mediocre one. There is no such thing, right? So whenever we are asked to pick a choice, do you want to invest or not invest? Do you want to invest in company A, B, C, D or E? When you have a choice, it is inherent in the decision making process that we uh, take the best. And the question now becomes, what is the best? So if you leave it undefined, then it becomes a, a very subjective, uh, explanatory kind of a situation where you try to justify uh, with a lot of words why this is the best choice. right? And in so doing, it is difficult because uh, if people trust you, that's fine. But if things go south, uh, what you think was best becomes the worst outcome. Uh, you will not be uh, sort of uh, totally appreciated with the choice that you have made, right? So why are we moving into the realms of mathematical and scientific modeling of the situation? Well, that relieves um, two key issues, right? One is, as the owner of the problem, when you and only you yourself know the intricacies of the situation, then you and only you yourself can solve the problem. There are a lot of times when uh, external consultants will, may come into a small company and try to suggest uh, improvements. Those are very good suggestions and advice. However, it is often times also that the small time company uh, cannot implement those because of other concerns. It may be because that there are some uh, tradition issues, there are some culture issues, there are some various things. Not that the consultant doesn't understand or didn't take into consideration, but more because it hasn't been uh, uh, sort of brought up to sufficient importance, to sufficient uh, extent that the consultant uh, took full consideration of the impact of those issues, right? So uh, when the whole problematic situation or the, the, the task of selecting the best choice lies with only one person, then hopefully that person can make the, the best choice, right? And also hopefully the person can continue to make the best choice for the company in many, many years to come. But oftentimes, those are not necessarily the case. And oftentimes, even if you are the owner, 
you should recognize that this is more like a shortcoming and not an advantage because what if you are sick what if you decide to want to go for a vacation what if this what if that right so you want to minimize this single point of failure as the owner and you should re recognize that that is a problem rather than a, a sort of advantage so when you re-describe the situation using models using mathematical uh, descriptions and uh, that means in other words you try to open source yeah you open source your problem in language in mathematical language that people can understand and that's not a false assumption because uh, many students like yourself uh, all over the world right uh, are studying management decision tools in one way or another they might call it uh, operational management operational uh, optimization and various other names uh, but all in all we the whole business of all these discussions is to change or describe the actual situation the ground situation into a form that is described by mathematics when that is possible right provided we are honest enough provided we are sophisticated enough to turn that ground issue complicated vague uh, nebulous uh, uh, considerations and aspects of the problems into very clear-cut mathematical description then we are basically uh, able to open source our problems that's one but that's not the only uh, outcome we are after when you are able to write out clearly uh, the complexity of your choices and situation on hand more people right more consultants mathematical uh, experts uh, you know model solutions experts consultants uh, and many pairs of eyes can look at the problem and understand the problem and able to offer various forms of improvements optimizations suggestions considerations uh, interpretations right and all these should be thought of as pluses as the problem owner you should welcome right all these expertise some of them may charge but the thing is that even if you have money uh, such expertise cannot be forthcoming if you cannot describe it clearly in language that people can understand you see that's the reason why a model of a problem a model of a business situation is very important for us to begin even to discuss right uh, more holistically what this this problem is about so we'll talk about that and in particular we'll use one of the tools uh, which is called linear programming to optimize to uh, better the suggestions the choice that we make in this in a particular problem formulation so how do we describe problem formulation right uh, in terms of linear programming language so we'll spend uh, almost five sessions on this to uh, really explore how we can apply this tool very very important powerful widely used and definitely mathematically well supported tool to help us right in this nebulous world of business so that we can uh, definitely make use of what is already well understood in terms of linear programming to help us in understanding what is not properly understood our current and maybe changing business situation then in this session we'll also look at an example of how we can uh, apply linear programming uh, right to to solve problem very simple ones at first but we'll move and progress so in mathematical models uh, broadly speaking right that, that's not like an exhaustive list of everything but broadly speaking we have uh, two <coughs> kinds of models deterministic models versus probabilistic models deterministic models and probabilistic models differ in the way they deliver the outcomes deterministic model tells us definitively what is the result uh, should we invest in a b c d or e c says the deterministic model right so uh, invest in c it's very clear-cut it's very deterministic everything is um, not subject to 
fluctuations, ambiguities, and everything, right? So think of it as calculus, right? So if uh, algebraic equations and uh, calculus equations tell us x equals to 2.5, then it will forever be precisely 2.5 for x. No change at all, right? 